At the end of the day, I like to come to places like this in nature just to detach from the, our daily routine so we can relax and think about life. And I caught myself thinking a lot lately in the last 12 years of honeybee research. And there is so much uh, work that was done in the last 12 years that was impressive. For you to have an idea, in the last 12 years we have much more scientific articles published compared with the last previous 100 years combined. Just for, a, for you to have an idea, the amount of work, the amount of new knowledge that we have today. And this is definitely something, uh, a, a video that I would like to do in the near future. Uh, but not in today's video. In today's video I want to talk about, uh, actually it's a suggestion, uh, slash recommendation, about a piece of work that's gonna give you a taste about everything that have happened in the last 12 years in honeybee research. So this book came about through a series of columns in Bee Culture magazine, which is a long-standing bee trade journal in the U.S. And it really started with uh, a, a sort of request or suggestion to um, Kim Flottam, the editor of Bee Culture. I, I just had this urge, you know, after 20 years of research, I thought it, to have an avenue to explain uh, to beekeepers and even to other researchers uh, what their colleagues were doing, how they viewed their science, uh, and then hopefully how they were shaping their science and their efforts to help beekeepers. So uh, Kim was uh, open to that and of course he's had many uh, writers over the years, many fantastic writers doing these sorts of things for bee culture and he invited me in and that's how that's how that started with bee culture and then um, that's been going since January of 2017. So I started uh, this this journey and I've been learning myself on the way, but also learning uh, how rich the literature is in bee research. Um, one uh, thing that it's that is sort of uh, my own growth in this is to learn uh, different fields of science that intersect with those that, that we work on here at the Bee Research Laboratory. Uh, like I know very little about plants, which is ironic because plants seem to be quite important for bees of all sorts. And so I learned a lot about plants. I actually learned um, you know, commercial plants, uh, cro row crops, almonds, and the ways that you know, they intersect with the bee industry but also just, just this sort of partnership that plants and bees have had, of course, for, for millions and millions of years. And they've actually become who they are as, as big branches of diversity because of that relationship, of course. So, so to me, that was one of the goals, was to learn about fields that, that were pretty new to me or that had been lost um, in distant parts of my own training. Uh, so I've, I've uh, again, relied in that exploration on the research of others. Um, each of these essays is basically a, a recapitulation of a study that, or multiple studies often, that people have done in the search of knowledge for honeybees and their, their behaviors, their ecology, but also in the search of ways to use research to better understand how to help honeybees. Mm -hmm.